Good afternoon, Mayor, City Manager, Councilor, Staff, and Public. My name is Yoli Diaz. First, it was very disappointing to watch and listen to this four C-suite of Memorial Medical Center. CEO John Harris, COO Mary Armijo, CFO Laura Thomas, and CNO David Schmidt recently to not comment or show any concern for the patients who did not access care at Memorial Medical Center. Barbara, who's been here a couple of times, was very angry. Nancy, who's not a public speaker, is quoted as saying, I don't know who's making these decisions, but they're not looking out for our best interests. I spent four months begging them, again, I spent four months begging them, meaning MMC, but they didn't seem to care. Veronica is quoted as saying, I felt so desperate and I told the receptionist, really, if I don't have insurance, you're MMC going to let me die? I'm going to die? She, MMC receptionist said, yes, we're gonna let you die and you're going to die. I still remember in 2020, because you have to remember Veronica was a cancer survivor. It happened before. Veronica telling me this story and I becoming very angry. And that was at the time that I was advocating for her just to have some diagnostic testing because they were really doing these aggressive methods of trying to collect. And I, talking to MMC, I still remember both Nancy and Barbara in 2022 going through their experience with Memorial Medical Center and again, I becoming very angry. What is important to know is that these denials and delays didn't happen to just 12 or 13 residents. The residents who spoke up are the ones who gave me permission to give their names to Gretchen Morganson. The residents that Gretchen Morganson wrote about are the residents that agreed to Gretchen to report their story and their name to our nation. There are more residents that this happened to, to include the disabled indigent woman that I chose not to expose since she was in the middle of treatment with the additional challenges that I expected she would have. I know a woman who described her suffering with cancer to me and not being able to access treatment at Memorial Medical Center in 2015. She finally got to UNM Cancer Center. I know a woman in 2017 who had cancer and needed tests, diagnostic tests that were scheduled at MMC but records were updated at MMC and she wouldn't be getting them because she was uninsured. I have this in black and white, an MMC document. There are more residents I know about and what about the general public? Referrals by other doctors, how many more residents that this happened to? And what about the records that should be kept that the lease and the statute are requiring? What about that? Thank you.